morning, guys. Um, <laughs> Galileo was looking out the window. But anyways, um, today is the day that I find out what is wrong with me, why I'm having balance issues, and what exactly the doctor found on my MRI and x-rays. You might find this weird, but um, I had to schedule a ride with my insurance, and I don't know if any of you have this same issue, but I am super paranoid of riding in a vehicle with people that I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. <coughs> I just have this, this issue with it. So, like, I have been psyching myself out, like, since two days ago, um, ever since I knew that Curtis wasn't going to be able to drive me to my appointment and I wasn't going to be able to get a ride from anyone else. Um, yeah. So, like, I don't know. Thankfully, the ride is not, like, super long because my doctor's office is not, like, that far away. It's only maybe five miles away. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm also nervous about what they're going to tell me is wrong with me. I don't know if they're going to actually do any treatments today um, or not. I don't know if they're just going to give me the test results and then be like, uh, well, you know, you can come back another time for more treatments because he did say that it was supposed to be like the results and then he was going to talk to me about, um, you know, a treatment plan for the future, you know, and all that stuff. But I don't know if he's going to actually do any sort of treatment today. So, um, I'm waiting for these people to show up. They should be showing up in about 20 minutes, give or take a little bit. Um, I'm super nervous. Every little car that goes by, I keep looking at them and I'm like, oh my god, is that them? Like, my social anxiety and anxiety in general is just through the roof today. Um, I don't know what it is. I do not like being in a car with somebody that I don't know and it's just like super uncomfortable because I feel like it would be super rude you know if somebody's talking to you and you don't like talk back to them obviously I feel like that would be super rude um but like I have anxiety so it's like it makes me uncomfortable to talk to people that I don't know I don't know oh it's weird because I'm, I'm on YouTube and I can share so much of my personal life with people that I really don't know all that well. Oh my goodness. But um, anyways, I'll, I'll check in with you guys later and let you guys know um, what happens, how the test results are. Hopefully they're not too bad. I know he said that he found some troubling, those were his exact words, um, troubling things on my x-rays before I left the office on Monday. So hopefully it's not anything too, too bad. Um, but anyways, I am about to go sit downstairs and wait for this ride to show up. Oh, Jesus. Help me. I've been back from my chiropractor appointment for a little while now. Sorry, I'm getting some milk because I have heartburn. So, I'm trying to hopefully rid myself of this terrible heartburn. Um, first of all, um, I did not get good news whatsoever because it basically told me that I have degradation in my spinal cord like really bad um my spinal cord is all degraded and stuff and don't mind the mess back there from peanuts toys okay the kitchen is clean I promise it's clean I promise it really is clean 
I promise. Okay. But uh anyways, um I went over like my x rays and stuff. I showed you like the first three and the first three were basically like my head and my neck. <clears throat> my neck, he said, was like, he said my neck was pretty normal, but the only problem with my neck was that um, most people, they, their neck, when it degrades, like spinal degradation is something that's part of the aging process, but for me, I'm only 27 years old, and my level of spinal degradation, he said, was something comparable to someone who is in their 60s or 70s, so that's pretty terrible, um, which is why he feels like I've been having so much like back pain and things like that, um, along with like flare-ups from the injuries and things like that that I've had over the years, um, but also like my neck tilts forward like the spinal cord when it gets to my neck tilts forward and most people's when it degrades tilts backwards so he says it was probably from like an injury when i went this way instead of this way which is why i have a problem tilting my head backwards like that like it hurts to do that a lot of times um and my back is in a lot of pain right now um which happens Sometimes, at least in my experience, because when I went to the chiropractor before, like, it'll feel really super good for a short time afterwards, and then it'll feel, like, totally crappy, and then it'll feel good again, so it's kind of like an off and on type of thing. Um, basically, today I got treatment, and part of their treatment was freaking awesome, because I got a deep tissue massage um, as part of my treatment. And that was freaking amazing. Oh my god, I totally needed that. <laughs> but, um, they also, um, when he showed me, like, the actual mid portion of my body, like, my torso, my spinal cord goes like this. So it, like, makes a little S shape. And he said that it's probably been that way my entire life. Um, because one of my legs is shorter than the other. And one of my hip bones is smaller, like a little bit smaller than the other one. And he said it's basically like when I walk, the bones are rubbing on each other. And he said there are spots in my spinal cord where I basically have like zero cartilage left. And he said that even with like some of the treatments that he plans on doing, there's nothing that you can do to reverse it. And he's saying that if I don't like, if I don't at least try to do something about this, then, um, you know, I won't be walking by the time I'm 30 or 35. So, I've been kind of struggling with that. Um, you know, it's like a big part of your freedom. I don't want to get emotional. <sighs> I don't want to get emotional, but, um, when he told me that, like, that scares me because I don't want to have to rely on other people to do everything for me. Like, my bedroom is on the second floor. How would I get upstairs, you know? Um, he basically said that towards, like, the bottom of my spinal column, you know, stuff is dissolving, like, different parts of the vertebra and um, cartilage and stuff is dissolving and, you know... The degradation is just terrible and it worries me because like it's only so much that he can do you know and he, like I said at least I think I said it I know I told my mom this um, you know he said that it's probably something that I've had my entire life and you know it just got exacerbated from you know probably a combination of my weight which you know obviously like I said before I know that weight does have um, a lot to do with certain health problems and you know I knew that at one point someone was going to say something about my weight so I was waiting for it to come up in conversation with this doctor um, but you know, he also said that um, 
while he feels like it could have something to do with me being as heavy as I am, he said, <clears throat> I'm not even able to get like a correct posture because my spine goes like this and my hip is like this because like even when I'm standing straight, he said my hip bones are like this because one leg is shorter than the other. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to feel other than scared, trying not to cry, and like, I don't know. I don't want to be in a wheelchair in my 30s, you know? I mean, if it happens, it happens, but I don't, I don't want to get there. And like, he said that he doesn't, you know, he obviously doesn't do surgeries, but um, Man, if I have to get a referral to somebody so that I can, you know, see somebody about this problem, then that's what needs to happen because I don't want to end up in a wheelchair. And if this is something that's correctable via a surgery, then I would like to correct it before it gets to a point where it's just completely uncorrectable, you know? <sighs> Scared. But, um... Thank you for everybody who has been praying for good news. Um, I wish I had better news to tell you. Um, it's just been a rough few days. <laughs> it's been a lot of stuff going on. So, um, But anyways, uh, I'm going to go try to get back to not being so emotional. And I'm gonna drink this milk so that I cannot freaking have heartburn because heartburn does not need to be another added thing on my plate right now. <laughs> so I will see you guys later.